would you have felt comfortable as the director of engineering going down in the Titan submersible, specifically hole one to full rated depth? That's almost the best question here, isn't it? So Stockton's and my relationship started to turn sour. Um, he asked me, he wanted me to be the pilot that runs the um, Titanic missions. And I told him I'm not getting in it. And uh, he asked me why. And I said, because the operations crew, I don't trust them. But I didn't trust Stockton either. They would take a look at where we started when I was hired. But nothing that I got was the truth. I was, I was held with a bag and trying to save and I couldn't quit. From my, from my perspective, personally, it's very stressful and death by a thousand cuts. And if he wanted somebody to go in it and he was truthful with, it, it's why the word experimental is in, is in the waiver. Like I made him put that in there. We argued for a long time over that word, for sure. But said, you cannot do that without letting people know that it's experimental. Was there a designated safety officer for Ocean Gate operations during good, your time? Right, it's a, that's a good question, the operations thing, right? I don't, I don't know, that's a, I don't think so. Ms. Carl, did clients or mission specialists ever speak to anyone about the safety of the vessel or speak to you specifically about the safety of the vessel? Not that I'm aware of. I would point out there were some young engineers, and by young I mean late teens, early 20s, without any experience that we were aware of, you know, wrenching on the sub and without, without supervision right there on them. And that made me nervous because I don't know, I know I don't know what I'm doing. And to see these young people without somebody supervising just what they're doing. You know, do they know what the torque specs are? Do they know if the, they're dissimilar metals? Things of that nature. Were you aware that the Titan was not classed? The Titan? Titan. Uh, yes. Have you ever had a conversation with Mr. Rush regarding the classification procedure and or requirements for the Titan? Uh, yes. Can you please tell me about that conversation? They're usually rather short. I guess that wasn't as big of a worry for him as it would be for most people. Did you feel in Expedition 2023 that Ocean Gate staffing was sufficient to ensure safety? Well, uh, I think I think training and operations at at sea could have been better. So in during dive 88, was there any issues or problems with any of the materials or the sub or the, the launch recovery system? No, no. Actually, it was, it was it was an amazing day. Everything was just, boom. I, you know, it just took a long time, but every, there was, there were no red flags. 